What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to Let's Play Leaf. This is my life. It's my life! I'm actually Link. Woo! Uh, in last episode, my phone went off, and I was being stupid because I was like, oh, I turned it off. But no, we came back to Windfall Island. And look, the pirates are here. Ooh, what's their Jolly Roger, actually? Out of pure curiosity. Oh, that's actually a very boring Jolly Roger. Holy crap. Wow, a normal skull and crossbones with a little scar on it. Oh. And we actually heard from around town that there's people in here. And he went to the door and they very suspiciously say, We're closed! Get out! But there's lights on in here, so let's take a look what's going on. Ooh. I recognize that music. <gasps> they kidnapped him. And now he's an They turned him into a worm! How dare they! Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. <laughs> How about you just think of this little payback for the nice little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? Oh, that, that I think that was the big guy, actually. He says, he's the one that says, yeah. So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask the pirates to pay such outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. I think that, I think this is the nerdy guy talking because he's, he's, he looks at his hand to hold his glasses. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talk you pulled to get that information out of the post. Oh? Huh? Oh, oh, oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I knew he was hiding something back at the outset. Yeah? So when I saw that postman, I pretended... Oh. So when I saw that postman, I, the last one was Gonzo too, apparently. This is why it's, it's hard to tell who's talking sometimes in these games, because there's no, like, there's no... It doesn't tell you who is. So when I so when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Getting worried, Gonzo. Really, just top notch. It's funny though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. Wait, what? You know, with cunning, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you got married and had a kid, that would be the greatest part to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. You idiot! Get can't keep your mouth shut, yeah? <laughs> Don't be stupid. I'm holding my arm up so now I can hear it. So my ears are on my arm and also bless you. Oh god, don't look at the camera, it's weird. Stop breaking the fourth wall. Miss Tetra, are you listening to that nitwit? Could you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bo bombs back to the ship. Second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outside Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately? But it's so long since we've, we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about some grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So... Let's say we set sail them all, yeah? What do you say, miss? The treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's up for a night of fun? <laughs> They're like, nope. None. I love how, like, there's no... You don't even see them till that point, so it's great. You're all fools, you know that? You saw that demolish island. You saw the senseless destruction. You have to hurry to outset, or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to, no, not to be disrespectful, but by the sum of things, you're worried about that island more than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want the treasure. Or, I want, you know, the treasure. <gasps> wow, nice one, Link. You dumb bum. Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave tomorrow, you big babies. We're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in. Understood? Aye, Captain! That's my group pirate noise. Do you guys like it? Say, there, brother. What was today's password again? Ooh, password! Marco, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is Plankton, yeah? Remember. You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right? He's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is Plankton! Plankton, yeah? Plankton, eh? <laughs> so stupid and obvious. Password for what? Hmm. 
interesting. I'm gonna put my sock on one second, guys. All right, I'm back. My, my sock was upside down on my foot and it was really bugging me, so I had to take it off and fix it. <laughs> Ooh, rupees we can't even deal with because they're vault full. Ooh, more rupees. You know, even though we can't, oh, I can't take out my sword. They make this so much quicker. Even though we can collect these rupees, it's still a very satisfying noise. <laughs> Ow, it got sliced by the fan. Um, hello, dude. Oh, can I talk to him? Apparently not. We could just take a very suspicious looking photo. Wait, we have to back up a little bit. This would make a great. Uh, post here <laughs> to throw into the sea for on some unknowing children to get. So yeah, this is the only time we guys come back here. And oh, you know what? I was gonna say I'm pretty dang sure if we had an item that we don't have currently. But whoa, holy crap! Look at all this guy's freaking money. Let's take it all. Even though I can't hold it all, I might as well take it just so we don't have to freaking hold it. <laughs> holy crap! Oh, such a satisfying noise. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, that one's just gonna disappear. But whatever, better for no one to have it than him to have it. Look at this. I guess maybe this is some kind of machine that makes the bombs. So yeah, the parts of all the bombs. There's no treasure chest for me to get them. And there are these bombs, but I can't get them for some reason. I don't freaking understand why. Um, I believe if you already have bombs, you could blow up these boxes and there's a pig in them, oddly enough. I don't know why. It, it, at least that was in the original game. I don't know if that was fixed for this. And it's not like we can come back here later with bombs or something and throw back there and see the pig because we, you can't use our items in here besides our camera. So that's kind of a pity. It's kind of a shitty. But yeah, interesting little tidbit of information there. So password, hey. Well, first off, let's go check out if we can figure out where the pirates are. Oh, pure curiosity. Being here, I don't think they have a need to go to the potion shop. What's in my... It's a forest firefly, eh? Hmm. Ooh, are they at the cafe? Let's take a look. Close for a... <laughs> close all night for pirate party. Wait, it says pirate, right? Instead of private party. <laughs> That's great. I didn't even know that was meant to be like a joke or not. That's pretty fantastic. Check. What? Place decorative objects here with X, Y, or R. Sincere good wishes will soon come to the town and cheer your joy. The joy is some, some, some. <laughs> well then. Um, yeah, so very interestingly enough. We have a password down. Yeah, we can't go in the cafe. Let's go inside. We haven't been inside here yet. And I want to see if we can do anything about this. Who, who are you? Why, young sir? I must say, you have been, you seem to be in possession of a very fine picto box there. Are you a lover of photo pictographs as well? <laughs> uh, there can be no villains amongst the ranks of picto box lovers. Take your time, look around, I implore you. And while you're here, please do visit my upstairs pictograph gallery. I keep on call it uh, photograph gallery. Um, you're bound to find it quite exciting, young sir. Uh, I guarantee it. Are you going to let me through? Oh, you yeah, are going to let me through. Cool. No, but yours is a finely crafted picto box. I once had a picto box of that quality, but go ahead and witness my stunning pictograph gallery. Oh, is this the guy that was in prison then? If he once had it and he wanted to once return to get it, this might be his. Whoa, bro! If these are all black and white, then... Ho, 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 ho! Aren't those some finally snap pictographs? You must admit. Oh, these all do seem to be black and white, or like not, they're more like sepia toned, I guess. But come now, you didn't be so surprised, my young sir. It's a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. It's quite an amusing diversion. Think nothing of it. By the way, the pictographs you you, you see directing, decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than myself. My pride, they are my pride and joy. You see, my younger days, I was tireless sailing far and wide the great sea, snapping pictographs wherever I went. Have a look at them, young sir. Hmm. What is this pictograph, you ask? Well, those are the creatures called choo-choos. They are said to have m uh, medis medicinal properties, so they are most important resource treasured by sailors by the, wor the world over. While there is even said to be an extremely rare species of them known as blue choo-choo. It is under 
very unusual circumstances if they're ever uh, sighted. You would be most likely to come across one young sir. Welp, I did. Uh, this this one is of a tiny rock islet <laughs> resting far out at sea, southwest of here. Isn't it nice? Holy crap. There's a very dignified butler standing before the door, and I snapped his pictograph without even thinking. Then, aside, that aside, I am certain this is someone's private cabana. Indeed. So we were just there. It was a credible pictograph. It's weird that it's in blue text. That's supposed to imply that Link is saying that or something? I saw a strange platform rising from out the sea. It seemed to clot the sky and makes for an even stranger silhouette. I wonder if such things still remain out there in the high seas, lonely on the waves. Ah, if only I had the chance. I would love to see those things once again. Well, we can do. Just, you know, get a boat. <laughs> uh, an island he once visited. It is a finally snapshot. Isn't it a finally snapshot? I took in my younger days. It is of outside islands. It is the most delightful of fishing villages. Innocent and rich with nature's bounty. It was there I met a beautiful young lass. Ooh. Although I suppose she's probably not as young as she used to be these days. What is her name? Huh, who could he be talking? I mean, let's take a look at all the females. There's that pig lady. There's my grandma. And there's that girl who carries the jars on her head. The girl who carries the jars on her head seems too young. Is it my grandma, maybe? But, I mean, he's definitely... He's, he's younger than my grandma. I mean, my grandma's all shriveled up and dying. <laughs> Is it the pig lady, maybe? One ill-fated day, misfortune befell me, and my boat was destroyed. Clinging to the wreckage, I drifted the whims of the waves. That's where I saw this monstrosity. This foul, veiled and, this foul ship veiled in mist and fading in and out of sight. Something of another world. Yes, my young sir. Tis is not on the ghost ship. The rumors I've heard of a man who searched, researched the reaches of the sea where the ghost ship faded in and out of sight and drew a map of its movements. But it's said that as soon as the man had finished drawing the lines of that cursed map, he died most unexpected death. Chilling, truly chilling. That is pretty chilling, actually. Now, if you were able to find that map, and then it might be possible to sneak into the ghost ship and get that treasure that is said to lurk within its hull. The ghost ship, hey? Oh, there's even... Oh, that's a lightning pattern. I thought it was like a beam of light from a you see one of the treasure shards. And hey, look, there's a treasure chest behind there. How the heck do I even get there? Another bag pictograph, huh? I believe you saw this one before, actually. It's not an, or is that not a rather mysterious statue? That statue's home is on Triangle Islands. It lies due south of here. There are a total of three Triangle Islands. Northern, Southern, and Eastern Triangle Islands. Each of them have a statue standing on its shores. Alright, one more, guys, and we're done here. Chills me to the bone. The Forsaken Fortress. This place lies to the northeast of the Fair Isle. We're just said to envelop in filthy dark clouds of light. Uh, what are you doing against the silent evil, evil that linger, lingers there? If you value your life, young sir, then at the very least you should stay far away from that place as you can and stuff. It feels as if evil that is not of this world lies in wait there, biding its time. Alright, now I want to see here. Look at this forest firefly. Let's see, what do, you, what, do you, what do you think of this? What's this now? Really? Really? Okay, I guess we can't use it yet, which is kind of unfortunate. I might have to release that. More pictographs there. That bottom one looks weird. Um, I guess we're done here. Let's go see if we can figure out where to use that. Um, that, 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 that password. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think of here. Actually, oh, I have an idea. Can we get into this pirate ship somehow? Oh man, this is kind of like nostalgic of the, the fourth part of the um, series. You know, it's a gravestone. Normally that guy's dancing. It. Ah! <laughs> I know it feels kind of like glitchy how you get on here. Like you're not supposed to get on here this way. How the heck did these guys even get like to the island? Do they have to like swim? I mean, I guess they could have all came across here and jumped, but that seems a really, like, weird roundabout way. Could we actually, could we? Uh, nope, you can't make that jump. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe they, the pirates got to the island from this way, but no, apparently not. Alright, take two. So yeah, I'm actually really curious how the heck they even, how the pirates get got to the island. Do they seriously just, like, jump off? Whoa, whoa, it looks like it stopped raining there for a second. Did they just jump off to the water and swim to the island? That seems a bit weird, you know, when you have a ship like this. Yay, we're the parts of the ship now, assholes. Moon still up there. It's still nighttime. Holy crap. Oh, then I guess it is eternal night here. Who can walk the plank? Um. 
What? Why can't I? You gotta move it with a D-pad. That's weird. Is there a button we could? No, we gotta go all the way down here. God dang it. Well, you guys wanna know who can't walk the plank? Plankton can't. So, there are multiple passwords you could get. Uh, maybe I'll display them all on screen right now. Uh, I don't think there's a way, like, if you missed, if you, like, skip that text or something, I don't think there's a way for you to see what the password is. Right, right, you may enter. Who's in there? I mean, all the pirates went to eat, didn't they? I don't freaking know. <gasps> the guy's not, bo the guy's not guarding Tetra's room. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, we're in Tetra's room. Oh my god, oh my god. Hey, look, it's Tetra's mom. At least most people presume that is, and it would make the most sense since it looks like Tetra, and who else would Tetra have in here? Oh, I love how the ship slowly sways as well, it's really cool. It's her dresser, which has a lot of beads and crap, apparently, and perfumes and stuff. You know which one she wants to smell sexy for that one special guy named Link? <gasps> it's me! <laughs> no, actually, it's the Hero of Time that was in the beginning of the game. It's a Triforce over a map? It almost looks like islands. Are those islands you recognize though? I don't think they are. Is this maybe Outside Island right above my head there? I'm actually not entirely sure. Like, I'm legitimately curious. I think the island in the middle there is an actual island that has great significance that we haven't seen yet. Um. And you guys should know which island I'm talking about based on the shape. But if you don't, then, well, we will be finding out what that is relatively shortly here. Is there anything that picture frame doesn't look like? So they should get a picture of flowers. Oh, look, and there's another picture of the intro as well above the globe. Can you get a better shot of that? Not really. It's the part where it's looming into the castle after peace came to Hyrule and then Ganon comes back. So, yeah, this is her room. Can I smell her couch? <laughs> Smells like Tetris farts, alright. <laughs> That's weird, man. That's weird. Uh, do we have jars up here still? There's no jars up there anymore? That's hilarious. There's jars in there at the beginning of the game. Wow. Hey, look. It's our best buddy. Oh, this room's changed. Oh, Link. My old swabby Link. So you're alive? All the other pirates said you you got done in by the bird of the Forsaken Fortress or so I thought. But I thought Tetra could watch me through that stone. Would she, would she not know that I'm still alive? Never mind what I thought. You're alive. Speaking of which, how come Tetra doesn't ever talk to me anymore through the stone? Oh, I get it now. It came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to, see, wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung of the ladder. Which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town eating, having fun and eating and stuff. Oh, that sucks, man. That sucks so bad. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright, why don't we uh, set, set you to your next test, huh? So it's even harder than the last. Good luck, you'll need it, Swabby. You can see the lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time when you pressed the switch, platforms rose up, um, rose up for you to jump onto, right? Well, yeah. Well, this time there aren't any, which means you have to jump one rope to earn the next rope. Pretty tough. Well, if there's no timer, the oh, holy crap! That was quick, man. You're freaking the Flash. And that's not all. This time, it's got a gate on the door too. This door, what? So, whatever. <laughs> the switch opens a gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. When we're off time, you'll have to try it again, little swabby. <gasps> what the heck? He opened it with his Jedi mind powers. The switch that opens the gate is the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to this side before the time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we'll go on town. Yeah, you heard me. Give me your best shot, swabby. That sounds really stupid of you, but okay, great. Uh, oh. Oh, that's nice of them. They actually close it this time. So I have a decent amount of time. So yeah, as you'd imagine, this one is harder, but at the same time, it's not that bad. Seriously, so it's like, it's, you should, whoa, whoa, holy crap, I just went backwards there. I mean, it's not too shocking if people get their first try. I mean, of course, I'm just being stupid and messing it up, but. <laughs> and again, I do have a bit of trouble with this sometimes. Although it should be made easier, considering the fact that you could actually swing or you can actually change the direction you're swinging as you are swinging. And yeah, these things always give me issues. So you think you're jumping in one way and then you're not. So you're like, now I'm gonna, oops, gotta slide down. <laughs> I'm so happy I had to use that again. Whee! 
And I think we actually make that jump over there. I'm gonna play it safe, though. Alright, come on there, Mr. Linkus Park. Holy crap. Holy crap, he's swinging. What? Wow, okay, that is not how momentum works at all, but okay, great. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm not very good at this game, you guys. Pretty bad at it, actually. Oh, you're locked in there forever. Could we just leave him in there? <laughs> I mean, he has no way to get out. It's pretty great. Yeah, the whole reason why I'm stopping and starting it over there. Oh, didn't have to stop. See, I'm like, I'm still used to even having to stop and start to turn around. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I don't know what I was going to say now. Dang it. And, oh, man. I wanted so bad to try and make that jump, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. Why do those swing so much? I don't feel like those would swing that much, actually. But okay. Whatever you say, game. I might be able to time it so I could, uh... Jeez, man. Why is that... Oh, no! Oh, no! I made a terrible mistake. I made a terrible mistake. Oh, my God. <gasps> that should not have worked. But I'm taking it. There we go. Uh oh Kind of scared about this timer now, to be fair. Um... You'll hear it start to tick once you start to run low on time. It's gonna start. I mean, you can hear it tick in the background. I don't know if that is the timer, if that's part of the song or not. But yeah, we made it. It's not too bad. What? You, you, you gotta be. You, you did it already. You're you're incredible. This isn't good. I never even passed this test. How can you do it so quickly? And make it look so easy. What do you mean you never passed this test? You got over here so quick, man. Should I give this to him? Everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. <laughs> You're the best Wobby of all time, so I guess I gotta give you the bombs. Go on, take them. So don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious, okay? Okay? Well, I mean, this isn't all their bombs, right? I mean, this is a tiny treasure chest. Yeah, it blocks your way, so you can't, like, just leave. Huh, huh? Hurry up, but take it. I'm serious. Grab and get out of here. Someone might come. Hurry up, Swabby. Okay, that, I don't think the camera's supposed to be that way, but okay. I mean, they had, like, at least two giant barrels of bombs. So I don't think they can fit all those in this tiny little baby chest, right? You got bombs! You carry up to 30. Pull one out, press A to throw it, or you are to place one on your feet. Try it out. It's a blast! <laughs> use a bomb on your boat. We can see you a mighty cannon. You can use it to fight off uh, seagoing enemies. Yeah, yeah. That's mighty courageous of you trying to steal treasure from pirates. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, man. Speaking of Tetra talking to me through the stone, I suppose I should be shocked. But I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. She's talking about the bird, man. The sunbird. From the look on your face, I have to guess that you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? What do you mean if I look on my face? What, am I constantly depressed or something? Uh, you don't g uh, give things much thought, do you? You're just rush in, never thinking of how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left the simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have part part with their treasure so easily, I assure you. I like how Nico in the background like hits his fist, you're like, dang it, busted. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jabun's treasure too. Right now, Jabun is hiding in the cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway you can't uh, get in without breaking down the door. So you're gonna have to, we're gonna relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jabun tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, uh, we'll come sailing right by you, right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you don't get you didn't get all our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Oh, interesting. Wow, awesome! You have a song just like the one Miss Tetra has. Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky. Are you not a little bit terrified of the fact you just gave away the bombs to me? I mean, not all of them, like you said, but still. It's kind of a really bad idea. <laughs> so, now we're in a race against time. We have to get to our island before the pirates do. But, looks like we'll just have to wait a little longer on that. Because we'll be doing it in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris. In the next episode, we'll go back to outside islands, maybe. We got my ship. We, we came to this island. My ship was here, and now it's over there for some reason. Alrighty, uh, let's grab this bottle. I actually got another thing right here from Hazil Flight Control Platform. Apparently, this is good enough for a figurine. <laughs> so dumb. Um, the figurines are the things. Actually, I, I did discuss that already at uh, 
the place place. Dragon Roost Island is back to normal. On to the next island. Zachi at Dragon Roost Island. So happy. Alright, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.